All right, so if this guy joins your game, that means that you're probably gonna, gonna get your pets stolen. And if that already did happen, I'm gonna show you guys what to do to actually fix that, get your pets back. But before we do, about the update, because that's what you're probably wondering about, this update, which is gonna be update V, or update 5, Preston did say that it's gonna be releasing it soon, but we haven't got it yet, and it's gonna be with like 10 new huge pets, new pets of X toys, and everything. So let's get it. So, first off, if your pets did get stolen by that guy or anyone, because that script did get leaked to people. So if if your pets did get stolen, just go over to the Discord server and then right over here, Preston did say that if you did get any issue or anything, just make a ticket or just try to contact a moderator and then they'll help you guys out with that and they'll try to get your pets back. But I'm not sure if you need proof or anything for it. I think they could just check from logs, but I think you should be fine. But obviously, if you have proof of it being stolen, for sure show it to them so you could get all the evidence that they need. And the newest Big Games tweet that we have right now is while you wait for the next big Pets MX update, check out the new summer update in Big Paintball, which is right here. Now, no one cares about Big Paintball because that game died like two years ago. So Pets MX is going to be getting the summer update soon. It looks like it's probably going to be the same thing as Big Paintball, like the summer update. And we actually did get this tweet as well. How's the summer going so far? And then we see the uh, Capybara pet, which is from PetsMX. And Preston and some other developers, I think, are working on another game too. It's on the same group, Big Games Pets, which is a pet sim group. And it looks like it's probably, my guess is going to be a role-playing type of thing. Because role-playing games are really popular on Roblox and big games haven't made anything like that. And it's, I'm guessing with role-play games like Adopt Me, it was mostly with pets. So they're probably going to do the same thing like Adopt Me, but with pets. And here's the different types of animations for that game that was made by the other developers in big games. There's a petting animation, picking up pet animation, and putting your pet down animation. So it looks like it's going to be something like that because... Why would you need to pick up your pet in Pets MX? You know, it does. It wouldn't really make sense. And we do have the season one uh, gifts, which are legendary, and mythical, that we see in the big games tweet. But if you look at the leaks, there's actually different ones as well, like basic, epic, and rare. And those are probably going to include different types of pets that aren't um, like these, which are the huge pets. And I feel like the legendary or mythical are probably going to be toy code redeemables. And then the other ones, like Rare, Epic, and uh, the basic ones are probably going to be something like you got to do some challenges for. Because if you look over here to the left side, it has a whole different type of icon and it has an unbox thing. So I'm guessing instead of these season gifts, which are from DLC codes, these are probably going to be from challenges. And it's probably not going to have the huge pets, but it'll still be as much as rare as this. And then here you can see that we could get golden uh, versions of these huge pets. So if there's golden versions, there's for sure going to be rainbow versions. And yeah, there is probably going to be exploited versions of these. Like, there's always exploited versions of every pet. Like, all the golden pets, most of the golden pets and rainbow huge pets that you see in Pets MX, most of them are already exploited and just in the game with different pet IDs, so then they stay in the game. So... Most of these probably going to be exploited, but for tr trading for them, if they're exploited, I don't think there will be a big issue with that. Like, they won't get deleted, but if there's duped pets, they are going to get deleted. And I don't know if Preston fixed that scriptless duping dupe yet, but if he didn't fix that yet, then I just say, just don't trade. And I, I mean, even if he did fix it, there's already a script dupe, so I just don't even trade in pets in right now. And we do have the huge capybara, which is probably going to be the daily reward. Like how we have right now with the huge cupcake. And he did say that he was going to remove the huge cupcake soon uh, in another update, which we didn't get for like a couple of months. And now I feel like these two are probably going to change to huge capybara pets. And then these other red ones are probably going to be the normal capybara pet. That, that That's just what I think. And here's a capybara in the little gift. It's just a different color now, but it's still in that gift. And here is the opening thing. So probably going to be something with the challenges. That's my guess. Um, and we do have all these different types of pets, which obviously we need new worlds. So we're probably going to be getting a whole new crystal world and tie-dye world and the ninja world because we have tie-dye pets, crystal pets, and we have ninja pets somewhere over here in the leaks. Right, right over here, we have the ninja pets. And then we also have the flop up probably going to be in the Robux egg. Because in every update, Pressed from now adds Robux eggs. Pretty good cash grab, I'm not going to lie, because it takes all my Robux. 
Because let's why not just buy one more? Last time I got a huge Super Corgi first try. I don't know what I'm going to get this time. But hey, 800 Robux. And if I get a huge pet, that ain't, that, that's not that bad. Let's see what I get, though. It's not going to be a rare huge pet now. Oh, that's actually not bad. That was close. I got Starfall Dragon. And what's the percent chance on that? Let me see. What's the percent chance on this thing? 13% uh, chance. The other one's like 0 0.5 with Robux Egg. Man, all right, that's not that bad though. I'm pretty sure the value on this thing is like at least probably 10 billion gems, or it's probably less, but somewhere around there, it's not that bad of a pet. Like the Starfall Dragons right now, the value is 16 billion, and I'm pretty sure for the huge, let's see, for the huge, um, let's see all the different types. Oh yeah, there's a lot of huge pets. The huge Super Corgi right over here, I see the value on this is 300 billion. So, I mean, 17 billion is not that bad, but this would have been a lot better. And then the Unicorn is just 60 billion more. Well, that's actually not that much more than the huge Super Corgi. I guess probably because of duping. Dude, I want to see how much the huge Hack Cat's worth now. There's like 80,000 that exist now, so it's probably horrible. Thir yeah, it's only 38 billion. So I could trade for a huge pet. Just with like three Starfall Dragons, I could get a huge pet with. I doubt anyone would probably give it because a lot of people like huge pets. But man, the huge hat cat is worth nothing now. I wonder how many exist now. It was like I think 86 or 88k last time I checked, and the six times lucky event is still going for a long time. I don't even know how long it's been. And there's still 88,000 that exist. No one's even trying to hatch them anymore. I feel like no one really cares. And now there's 65,000 huge pixel cats. I know that went up by like a couple thousand. But even though it's so rare, with the six times luck, man, and with all the mythical, with like with all the lucky boosts and everything, it's probably going to be really... And for the new Petsamex toys, he did say that they're hitting shelves in one to two weeks. And in the big games Twitter, he said one, two, I think four weeks yeah one through four weeks they'll be shipping out so once they start hitting the shelves he'll be posting about it and then on Preston's he did say that they're gonna be hitting shelves soon so hey I mean if they do hit the shelves and you see it in Target I mean obviously pick it up because you, you might be one of the first ones to get it and if you live in the UK you guys could go to this website right here I saw it in stock at one point but I don't know if that was just a mistake or something, but I, I did see it in stock at one point. But now it's out of stock, unless people already got it. I think it was a pre-order on this site, but it's only for UK. And they have these um, places right here where you could check. So probably check up on this like every day to see if any place has, it, has them in stock. And they can for sure order them. But yeah, for sure check out this place, uh, smythtoys.com if you guys live in the UK. I can't order from here even if I wanted to. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the update and all the information for the update. If you guys got any ideas for the update or any other things like for the pets or the season uh, gifts, let me know in the comments and peace out.